The Indian Navy, with primary duty of safeguarding India's extensive maritime interests, has enormous responsibility. It is a formidable force capable of operating from surface, subsurface, air and space to perform its assigned role. Being the first largest navy in the world, it has emerged to be a dependable partner in the Indian Ocean region. Underpinning this capability are technology-intensive state-of-the-art platforms and a highly professional workforce. Behind every missile streaking across the skies at supersonic speeds, behind every torpedo chasing its target, behind every naval action at sea is a man or a woman who's the real driving force. The officers and sailors of Indian Navy are trained both in mind and body to fight a war at sea and to win it decisively. In this quest, these young men and women are put through the crucible of fire and molded into capable, confident and reliant sea warriors. Training in the Navy is a well-conceived mix of academics, theoretical training, practical hands-on training and outdoor training, well integrated to ensure training in multiple facets, surface, subsurface, aviation and special operations. At any time, about 11,000 officers and sailors undergo training at 32 training establishments spread across seven states in the country. In a year, about 3,000 courses of various durations are conducted across the Navy with a throughput of about 65,000 trainees, including both officers and sailors. The scope and range of courses conducted is unique to the Indian Navy. The Southern Naval Command, the Navy's training command based at Kochi, handles the entire spectrum of training, ranging from ab initio boot camp training for all personnel joining the Navy at one end through mid-career professional courses to advanced research level studies at the other. Towards this, the curriculum of all courses is regularly reviewed by the Flag Officer Commanding-in-Chief Southern Naval Command and operational training needs arising out of new acquisitions and technical and tactical requirements identified. The Indian Navy's training philosophy is to train as you will fight, for you will fight as you shall train. In pursuance of this training dictum, every effort is made to train officers and sailors in core competence areas through application-oriented holistic training. On identification of training need, the curriculum is carefully designed and implemented while its effectiveness is evaluated through modern statistical tools and time-tested methods. After ensuring a strong academic foundation through classroom instructions, practical hands-on training is conducted using actual equipment and simulators in a realistic environment. The aim is to ensure that men and women of Indian Navy acquire necessary skills required for discharging their duties efficiently on board naval platforms. Young men and women raring to become part of this elite force as officers join the Indian Naval Academy the cradle of leadership for basic military grooming at Erimala, Kerala after meriting national level competitive examination followed by selection by the service selection boards. Sprawling over nearly 2500 acres, the Indian Naval Academy is Asia's biggest naval academy.
The trainees are put through a grueling regimen which infuses them with knowledge, confidence, courage, commitment, pride and honor. Courses at the Naval Academy vary from 22 weeks Naval Orientation course for graduate entry to 4 years B.Tech degree for cadet entry. On completion of basic training at INA, these young officers report to training ships based at Kochi for 24 weeks of sea training, meant to acquaint them with the rigors of life at sea, to acquire their sea legs and develop the seaman's eye. During this phase, the trainees also undergo training on board sail training ships to nurture the art of ocean sailing. Similarly, young male aspirants joining the Navy as sailors are put through their paces at INS Chilka on the east coast of India. It is here that these young men are trained to face the challenges at sea. For the 5200 Naval and Coast Guard trainees who enroll annually, academic studies in basic sciences, military grooming, hectic physical activity and watermanship training and much else are all included in a day's work aimed to transform the raw recruit into a sea warrior. On leaving portals of Chilka, these young men proceed to fleet ships for practical training, prior professional training at various training establishments. On gaining work experience on board ships, executive officers and men of seamen branch undergo further training in warfare-related disciplines, maintenance and support functions as per branches allocated to them. The effort here is to provide a good mix of theoretical and practical training and extensive use is made of simulators, emulators, cut section models, computer-based training packages and working equipment. In pursuit of this training strategy, the art of basic navigation, advanced fleet tactics and aircraft control are taught to officers and sailors at Navigation Direction School through use of ship handling and aircraft direction simulators. Similarly, the Signal School at Kochi provides training in communications, information and electronic warfare net-centric operations through replication of actual equipment installed on board the warships. In anti-submarine warfare school, personnel are trained to hunt and neutralize the silent threat and understand the complex principles of undersea warfare. Hit first Hit hard and keep on hitting. Fearless, confident, perseverant naval gunner. Young trainees learn to fire small arms, guns and missiles at INS Dronacharya and train in engaging enemy targets at sea and in the air using sophisticated weapon systems. Warships are required to sustain at sea for long periods and therefore conduct operations at close quarters which require correct observance of seamanship practices. Seamanship training therefore forms an important part of the trainee's curriculum. Warships are designed to go in harm's way and men of war at sea need to be adept to control damage and continue to fight in adverse situations. Real-life scenarios are replicated in simulator training sessions, equipping trainees to master vital firefighting and damage control techniques. Live practice sessions on survival techniques at sea are also conducted regularly. Efforts are also made to remain updated through training for meeting the operational requirements posed by the dynamic security challenges in the maritime domain. 
In order to counter the menace of piracy in the Arabian Sea and the rise of terror threat from the seas, the Indian Navy now also trains personnel in asymmetric warfare, counter piracy operations and maritime interdiction operations. While training units impart professional training in individual specializations, warships are worked up by flag officer sea training to ensure high level of combat readiness. This is a whole ship training program and a team of highly specialized experts undertake thorough assessment of war fighting capabilities of ships. The flexibility, lethality, reach and versatility of air power makes it central element of naval warfare. Naval pilots on acquiring basic flying skills with the Air Force continue with their special training to master flying advanced light helicopter, Sea King, Donier and Chetan. Flight simulators are effectively utilized to acquire flying skills. Air navigators are trained to handle onboard instruments, weapon systems and learn to execute air tactics with precision. Aircraft handling and aircraft firefighting forms an important component of air operations. Trainees learn how to handle aircraft and safety equipment in controlled conditions. The sophisticated water survival training facility is a unique aid where aircrew are trained in survival techniques and water. While integral air assets provide reach to the Navy, submarines deny the use of waters of our interest to an adversary. Submarines are the silent underwater sentinels and are a potent arm of any Navy. The submarine is an extremely complex platform to operate and clearly calls for the highest standards of professionalism and training. INS Satwana at Vishakhapatnam follows a detailed multi-level training pattern to impart training on submarine operations and escape training. A vast array of working models, cut section, tabletop models and simulators are used to sharpen the practical skills of submariners. Naval Special Forces and the Naval Clearance Divers are potent force multipliers capable of operating from sea, air or land. Supremely fit and highly trained, they undergo specialized training in weapon firing, explosive ordnance disposal, sniping, unarmed combat, urban combat and various ingress and egress techniques. Maintenance of complex platforms and weapon systems is key to the Navy's sustenance at sea. And this needs an elaborate and dedicated maintenance infrastructure augmented by a highly skilled workforce. On this front, the Navy has created world-class technical facilities wherein personnel joining the technical branches undergo training using live equipment and advanced training aids. Officers and men of electrical branch are imparted high-quality training in maintaining communication, radar, sonar, and complex weapon systems. Simulators and IT-enabled training infrastructure provide hands-on experience to maintain the sophisticated weapon systems and sensors fitted onboard warships. Engineers of Indian Navy are provided with professional training on ships' propulsion systems, power generation and other important marine engineering systems. Maintenance of aircraft requires a very high degree of professional competence and skill. Naval Institute of Aeronautical Technology at Kochi is equipped with modern training facilities to train naval air technical personnel. Logistics is the key enabler for naval operations at sea. Officers and men of the logistics cadre are trained at INS Hamla at Mumbai 
in a variety of support disciplines ranging from the culinary arts to the effective management of complex naval inventory. Strategy and operational art are critical to winning wars at sea. Mid-level officers of the Indian Navy are exposed to defense, security and strategic studies. Building on the foundation laid in staff course, the Naval War College at Goa conducts courses in higher defense management, strategy and other military subjects to enable planning and successful execution of military campaigns. Opportunities provided to officers keen on pursuing research in defense subjects. The Indian Navy is a technology intensive force and there are a vast number of disciplines and competencies required to operate and support this potent force. Training is therefore achieved through a myriad of long and short courses and capsules spread over all disciplines and conducted in the various training establishments of the Navy. This is not all. Even the physical development of our sea warriors is not overlooked. A well-balanced physical training curriculum is imparted to condition the body and the mind of personnel. The training in the Navy is need-based. However, it is also imperative to remain abreast with the latest developments in the academic world. The Indian Navy has entered into affiliation with eminent universities to remain current in the training process. An external review of the Navy's training processes and course content periodically enables recognition of these courses for the purpose of award of degrees and diplomas. With the advent of digital technology, the Indian Navy has left no stone unturned in exploiting technological resources. Training units are linked to the National Knowledge Network portal for exchange of information with reputed institutions nationwide. In addition, trainees have access to e-learning modules, IT-enabled facilities, digital library and grid computing. No efforts are spared in selecting the best officers and men for instructional appointments through a rigorous screening process. The Indian Navy also plays a key role in capability enhancement of friendly foreign navies of Indian Ocean region and beyond. The Indian Navy has thus far trained over 10,500 trainees from 40 countries. Foreign naval personnel are offered basic to instructor level courses. The international trainees also benefit from the award of academic degrees by the affiliated universities subject to fulfilling the requisite criteria. With a mix of ships, lethal submarines and modern aircraft along with a dedicated satellite system, the Indian Navy is fully geared to meet envisaged missions in times of peace and across the spectrum of conflict. Highly trained manpower remains key to Indian Navy's combat readiness and effectiveness in the maritime domain. Shining, excelling, achieving, the human resource of the Indian Navy, young men and women are transformed into sea warriors and fine military leaders through well-structured and comprehensive naval training to ensure that they are fully prepared to meet the challenges at sea.